All right, this is uh, an amendment to the uh, Dalton Clutch uh, kit install. I'm going to just uh, add a portion here that deals with the new recall or the new stud for the primary and how to deal with it. Um, as you can see, the belt's already off. You can watch the other video. And this is just strictly about getting the nut off, uh, putting it back on, washer, so forth and so on, and then retorquing it. Okay, so when you open up your case if you happen to have the new stud on it'll look like this so the first thing we got to do is take the set screw out and by the way if anybody doesn't have it didn't want to go to the dealer uh, here's the part number right here uh, 703-500-842 it's called a clutch bolt repair kit also I have a set of PDF instructions that were for the dealers if anybody would like them Here's one particular sheet dealing with the uh, torque specs. Um, email me, Todd, at HunterWorks.com, and I'll be glad to forward them to you. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is take a set screw out. Mine's already loose, but it's in there. Torqued at uh, 48 foot-pounds. It's a 6 millimeter. All right, so I take my set screw out. And a clutch holder. Uh, I wanted to order these particular clutch holders and sell them, but uh, they don't make this one anymore. So, some, depending on when you're watching this video, we may have something different. All right. So put your clutch holder on here, or you can use an impact to take it off, which I use the impact to take it off, 21 millimeter. Okay, now my primary popped off. You want to hold it, take this uh, the way to take your tool off, hold it. Whoop, one of those slippery, new slippery washers. And there's our nut. Okay, um, so just going along with the other video, you pull it off, you need to clean the uh, taper inside here. Just follow the other video. This is strictly how to torque this new nut. So I'm just simply going to put it back on for you know, video purposes. Okay, now you got two washers. You're not supposed to clean them. They got a coating on them. And I would suspect, I didn't see it in the instructions, but I would suspect that they want you to put new ones on. There's a big one and a little one. Big one goes on first. Then you take your nut, get it started. Like I said, this video here is strictly for showing you the difference in the bolt and the nut. All right. Now the instructions say, of course y'all know you can't read this. The instructions say, step one, torque the nut to 59 foot-pounds, okay? Now I'm gonna put my clutch holder in here. Get my torque wrench, set it at 59 pounds. By the way, I'm doing this with air conditioning off where we can hear. It's July in Mississippi and it is hot in this room. All right, got my torque wrench set to 59. Got my clutch holder in place. All right, there went 59. Now it says torque 89 foot-pounds plus or minus six pounds. Right, we like to use 95, so we're gonna go up to 95. It also says to turn it 90 degrees or 95 foot-pounds, whichever comes first. So, 
you'll have to kind of guess about 90 degrees and it's going to be kind of difficult here but we're going to give it a try. See that? Yeah, it's kind of hard with this long wrench. It's probably 60, and this, I know it doesn't. All right, so I think 95 foot pounds become, came before I actually turned it 90. I was having to short stroke it because of my, and just go off of it, but I hit 95. 95. Now, this is not in the instructions, but I would recommend you going out, run it through a couple of cycles, drive it, come back, put your torque wrench on it, and torque it to 95 foot-pounds again. All right, just because of the fact that mine's going to be a back off again, as usual, a lot in the next few days, uh, I'm going to go ahead, well, actually, it isn't, so I'm going to go ahead and put my Loctite on the set screw. Blue, has to be blue Loctite. Got it on my set screw. All right. Now we're gonna to torque this to uh, 48 foot pounds. 48. Same, you get 6 millimeter out. There you go, 48 foot pounds. Take our tool off. And I am going to put since I'm not going back in this clutch for a little while, and I was doing some testing so far, uh, I'm putting our Gates carbon fiber belt back on mine. Take my stud or spreader out. Always turn it by hand, get it to run the belt back up. Okay, and then you can crank it up and go. But like I said, run it through a couple cycles, come back, uh, torque it to 95 foot pounds again. You can loosen your nut up, torque it to 95, put your nut, excuse me, set screw back in, back to 48, and you should hold. And if uh, Can Am knows what they're doing, this is going to be a solution to the potential issue.